I'm not looking for Islam. I'm looking for the truth. Whenever, whatever, and wherever it is, I just want a proof. Second, the miraculous scientific uh, aspect of the Quran. There are some discoveries that were discovered lately in the 20th and the 21st century that made us understand some verses from the Quran that we couldn't fully understand before. And these are what many Muslims like to call the scientific miracles of the Quran. Many of them are really awesome. When people uh, contemplate upon them, it's amazing and it cannot be the word of a human being. The Holy Quran is different from the divine books. It's different from all other religious books because it's filled with universal connotations. The scientific miracle of the Holy Quran that it shows the detailed and accurate scientific reporting of the human body from the start of its conception in the womb as well as other anatomy issues showing the developmental stages of man and his original creation. The Holy Quran has shown the detailed differential stages of the embryo using accurately minute and descriptive terms that totally comply with the actual developmental stages of the embryo. Allah, the one and only God said, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ طِينٍ ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُطْفَةً فِي قَرَارٍ مَكِينٍ ثُمَّ خَلَقْنَا النُطْفَةَ عَلَقَةً فخلقنا العلقة مضغة فخلقنا المضغة عظاما فكسونا العظام لحما ثم أنشأناه خلقا آخر فتبارك الله أحسن الخالقين. Professor Dr. G. C. Goringer, the famous embryologist teaching at Georgetown University in the U.S., said. The Quran's description and illustrations of man creation steps is the most accurate description that we or anyone will ever find. But what's the element that's involved in every living cell in all organisms? This needs a biologist. But if you say in the desert 1400 years ago and told someone that everything you see has got water in its composition, he wouldn't have believed you for sure. There was no proof of that fact until the microscope was invented. So, we had to wait till it was discovered that the protoplasm which is the main substance in the cell, is about 80% water. So, uh, in 1694, uh, it was a theory which is called the pre-formation uh, creation, and this uh, is supported by Hartzucker, and he has uh, shown uh, that the, the uh, man created from the sperm only, and he introduced uh, a drone to this uh, which was laughing uh, now if you see it. Uh, by 1939, by 1839, the two Germans, Schwann and Schleiden, has identified the uh, cells of a man and they mentioned that this is the fundamental for the human creation. By 1985, those scientists uh, has realized that the sperm is a living cell as well as the ova. In the past decade, the scientific community recognized the test of falsification theory, which was presented by the Quran. If you claim this book is untruthful, do so to prove it. 
write verses like this, try to falsify its facts. For 14 centuries, no one could do it, which proves it's a true book. In 1875, the German scientist Hertog has uh, uh, registered a notice uh, for how uh, the sperm fertilizes the ovum and he proves by this time that they are equally uh, participating in formation of the fertilized ovum and by this time he was the first man uh, to describe the uh, fertilization process between the sperm and the ovum. So uh, before all this the Quran has described all these stages with a miraculous accuracy showing the uh, stages, uh, the developmental stages arranged in a proper way without using any of these techniques and uh, endoscopes. There's a trait in the Quran that does not exist in any other book. When the Quran mentions certain information it would say to the reader there is not any manuscript that says, you didn't know it before, neither you nor your people. The polytheists of Mecca, who were in a fierce animosity with Islam, did not disclaim this information, saying that they are not new, or that they knew from where Muhammad brought this, or they already know it. They could never challenge the information because they were really new to them. Professor Dr. Maurice Bukai, the famous French surgeon, said the full match between the Quran and modern science totally refutes and disapproves the assumptions made by those who claim and perceive that the Quran is the words of Muhammad. So these arrangements, this is very uh, comprehensive um, expressions from Quran assure that these the words of Allah, not sure words of any human being, including Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Oh, what?